What up, players? Wobots stay up in this mud. Welcome to November 12th, 11, 12, 11. Day 12 of my November painting project, or as I call it, Project Stunties. Yeah, as you can see, I finished my cannon crew. Painted their hair, painted the clothes, did all the fine ginger blonde work. So let me take you in, show you what I did with them. With this guy, the loader, I gave him a very ready and red uh, facial tone just because, you know, he's doing all the heavy lifting and he must be getting pretty tired. I also gave him the shaven head appearance, which I did a video for uh, stubble, how to paint stubble. So I think it comes out pretty effective with the last technique that I, the last step really catches the light so it makes you look like, you know, some bald guy's shiny head under the light. So I think that uh, that works really well. It kind of looks like he's got that, that um, you know, five o'clock shadow where his hair is growing back in. Really happy with that, really happy with this guy. Then here's my Robo Stunty. And I, I originally wanted to do like a reflected landscape coming out of his eyepiece, but it just wasn't turning out right the way I wanted it. So I decided, you know, I'll do a nice light blue to contrast the rest of the dark color tones. And I think it came out really nice. Especially with the blonde beard action, blonde hair action that he's got going. I'm really happy with this guy as well. Let me know what you like about all these guys too. Um, you know, I want to do something different because I took so much time on the quarrelers that I wanted to take my time, add a lot of character and flair to these guys. Here's my master engineer looking over the battle plans on his clipboard. He's got a bunch of tools and stuff in his belt. Gave him the ginger, ginger beard treatment. And yeah, so they're gonna join my cannon crew. And um, let me know which one you like the best and why. I'd love to hear uh, your feedback on that. Okay, so there's my cannon crew and my cannon all painted up, ready for ready for crumping. Now, if you just hang on right there, I will show you the other thing that I got done. Yep, that's right. My quarrelers are all finished. A unit of 16 won't really fit on this five five unit wide uh, base, but I've finished all that I that I needed to do. The other four, and as you can see, they they look really well. Hey, guy, what do you turn around? I'm supposed to be leading them here. I'll put you in the front. Put you in the front of them, off to the side, so you don't so you don't block the rest. But yeah, it, I think it looks really good. The first rank fire, second rank fire with the guys in the front with their crossbows down. The second rank with their crossbows up right behind them, ready to fire. I think that's a really cool little narrative thing that, that I really enjoy seeing. And just from, you know, from a table, table's distance away, seeing all these colors but not like glaringly so the colors aren't so bright and 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 disturbing and distracting that it's like hey you've got a Slanesh Dwarf army no they actually look like a cohesive cohesive dwarf unit it has a lot of color but at the same time it's still has that grim and and uh, serious tone that the dwarves have I think and a lot of it has to do with the washes so really happy with that let me know what you think and uh, oops sorry let me know how you think I'm coming along and yeah just leave me some feedback I love to read your comments and I love to respond and uh, just just get get discussions going and um, I'll see you in the next one tomorrow we get to work on the hammer unit so really excited about that so thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow